That means come to the prayer. But you will hear immediately after that, come to success. Every one of us, male and female, young and old, we are looking for success. There is no success beyond that which Allah has promised you. You can never be truly successful if you have disconnected from your five daily prayers. And evidence of it is manifest in the adhan, in the call itself. You want success? Well, we are going to show you step one. Step one. And this is why the hadith says the first thing that a person will be reckoned in the hereafter is their salah. If the salah is in order, everything else will be easy. If the salah is not in order, the rest of it, what do you expect? It's going to be difficult and tough. May Allah have mercy on us on, on, us on that day. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it easy for every one of us. So if you look at the call, it is bearing witness for us or against us. I called you. Did you come? The answer sometimes is no. And this is why when an, a blind man once asked Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he asked the messenger, he said, O Prophet of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, I am a blind man and I find it difficult to come to the masjid. Should I or am I given a, an excuse, etc. The end of the hadith, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam asked him, Atasma'un nida? Do you hear the call? Do you hear the adhan? He said, yes. He says, fa'ajib. In that case, you need to answer it. Subhanallah. I know one might argue, okay, nowadays we don't have, uh, or at that time they didn't have these loud hailers and microphones, while at that time they didn't have vehicles as well. They didn't have cars and other facilities. So if you have heard it and it's very close to your home, then you would definitely fall under the same category.